Okay, here's my latest project. It's like a BattleBot uh, paintball turret. I got a remote control right here for an airplane or a helicopter. And I got it all wired in. It's got to, I bought this interface thing off the internet for controlling BattleBots. And then I made a couple uh, air cylinder, pop machine air cylinders I used for raising the gun up and down. So I got to go turn it on. And I'll show you how it works as of now. Okay, I gotta kill the put the main power switch on. Okay, power's on. And then here to take the remote. You see the gun raise up and down. Gun goes up. Gun goes down. And then for driving, I got you can see it goes forward, reverse, you can spin 360, either way. It's a really fast response too when it goes. It's quick. Thing really does a good job. I'm surprised how good it works. For having no knowledge on how to build something like this, but I basically I got the wheelchair base from a buddy for free, and then another buddy of mine got me the batteries for free. Guns I had, and then I'm still working on the firing solenoid for the servo for the gun. But right now I just got I got a large CO2 tank running it. I'm gonna put. You know, regular CO2 tanks, one for the gun and one for this air cylinder on the back here. And you can see here's the the pop solenoids I used to control the air system. And it just got a couple little micro switches. When you hit the servo, it opens up one. You hit the servo that way, it lets the cylinder open, it lets the air out of the uh, door closing <laughs> cylinder. That's all it is. It's from a screen door. You put a pressure tick to take the valve or the bleeder out, and you put airline into it. You put an airline into it and it pushes up and then when you release the pressure the spring pulls it back so that's how that all works like just go up and then you can hear the air come out when it goes down that's how that works and right here on the side of the I got an ion put up here right now you can see that little servo I glued to the back of it there I'm waiting for it to dry and then I got another one available button on the remote that I can use for firing to activate that servo to pull the trigger and then I got my little homemade uh, hopper up here to make the hopper a little bigger. I need a piece of flexible hose there I got to put between it. But basically, the remote down, this just pivots. When the gun goes up and down, then when the gun goes up and down, it'll pivot back and forth. And I should be able to hold, I don't know, maybe five, 600 balls between the hopper and what's holds in the tube there. And I could probably make it bigger if I have to. And then I got a cover for the whole thing to make it look nice right here kind of protect everything so you guys will be seeing this thing pretty soon i'm gonna bring it up to health survivors i think on that customer appreciation day hopefully we can have some fun with it up there that's it for now i'll get some more video of it when i get the gun hooked up and i'll take it outside and shoot it around a bit